And I dive will we'll always love. Did you say end dive? Yeah, like the lettuce. Dig, 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 dig. Welcome to the Jenna Julian podcast. Brought to you by Diners, Dragons, and Dive. It's not brought to the us lettuce. by that. The lettuce. <laughs> You don't like my I lettuce hate jokes? Endive. Endive is gross. Endive, Vive, is a delicious lettuce. And I am gonna make a salad out of Endive. Wow. This is still going. <laughs> <laughs> the episode is brought to you by The Skim. It's not brought to you by Diners, uh, Drive Ins, Endive. The Skim. <laughs> Guys, it's a free it's newsletter a joke, sent to you every single... I love the skim. Yeah. It's free! Sent to you every single morning with all the top news stories, compacted into a nice little beautiful bite size email for you to go learn and then learn your coworkers. <laughs> go to the skim. That's T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M dot com slash Jenna Julian. When you sign up, you'll be entered at a shot to win a $250 Visa gift card, and you get information for free, okay? Mm-hmm. And it's it's great, bite-sized, wonderful stuff. Also brought to you by Texture. Guys, you want to read some magazines? Yeah. But you don't want to do it in a clunky, yeah. old-fashioned way? Yeah. <laughs> then get Texture. <laughs> texture is an app right now that you can start for free with a trial when you go to texture.com slash and Julian. Guys, if you choose to continue after your trial, then you'll get texture for just $9.99. That's $9.99 a month. Over 30% of their listed price is off. 30% off of their listed price just for the Dink fam. fam. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for watching. And I've, I've. Is a delicious lettuce. It tastes good. I'm gonna make a salad out of it. Dive, dive. What? Diners, drive-ins, and dive. Brother. <laughs> Sister Jenna. Brother. Sister Jenna. What have we been up to? In life. Oh, we're we're trying to buy a house. Well, we're starting the process. Yeah, we're starting the process. It's stressful as a motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, we're not in any hurry. You guys know that we, although our house is very frustrating because we rent. So, like, the toilets sometimes don't always work here. It's very frustrating. But, like, we do love our location and we love our our space and our podcast room and our office and, you know, our nice living room and our dogs have fun here. It's a fun place. So, we're looking for a really nice house that we can live in and have some working plumbing, but it's going to take a while. But we've been trying. Doing some real adult ass shit. Real adult ass shit. Real adult ass shit. Real adult. Real adult. We looked at a place that had a well in the backyard. Oh my God. And it was like concrete the and shut. Concreted shut, like it's like there was a well. Ugh. It was there was there was nothing else could have been. It was a hundred percent definitely a well at one point, and we looked at it, and the top of it is like, you know, concrete uh, all the way through. So it's, yeah, but a ghost can still get through cement. You ain't fooling nobody. Yeah, and then there was like an exotic animal cage next door. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, that's what we've been up to. But don't worry, we're not gonna like move or you know anything anytime soon. So we'll be here. Oh, yeah, and we'll obviously um, keep you posted on stuff, but because we talk to you all the goddamn time about everything. But mm, and dive. Jenna's been saying end dive. So uh, back to that whole thing. We have uh, an idea that we wanted to do where well, we were talking last <laughs> night with our friend Brett. We well, talking... first of all, we were drinking because it was Colin's birthday. So we'd gone out for Colin's birthday waffle and we'd had. I had a couple of glasses of Pinot Grigio. And you know, you come, like, some people, like, smoke weed and get good ideas. I don't really smoke weed ever, but, like, I get really good ideas, like, when I'm drinking and yeah. I think they're really good. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, that's fucking dumb, man. It's a dumb idea. <laughs> so we we had had a couple of drinks and we were back at the house eating some quesadillas. And we were, like, throwing around this really funny idea for, like, a YouTube Red show. And, um... 
Because I like YouTube Red. I like a lot of their original series. Like, some of them are really good. But I feel like they air towards, like, scripted stuff. And I'm like, why don't we have more, like, good YouTube reality trash TV? Like, sick trash TV, you know? Yeah. The ones that we like to watch on TV. Why don't we have more of those? Yeah. You know? And, um, like, I think people have tried it in the past, but, like, a little too serious. Like, they're not trash enough, you know? Well, that's the problem. It's, like, they're trying to make YouTube – a lot of the shows feel like they're trying to make YouTube um, similar to TV in the sense that it's taken seriously in how they're doing it. So it's literally right. exactly well, like the a, shit. Yeah, that... it's an uphill battle that you you don't just want to make a reality show that exists on YouTube and then people are like, wow, it's, it's garbage because it's a YouTuber show. Yeah. Like, a lot of them try hard to make good – reality sort of yeah. shows like i think about like I, I watch like mr kate where they go around and decorate and you know they're interior decorators and stuff like mm. that like if they made their show super trashy like reality tv like it's almost so self-aware that it's like hysterical yeah like that's you don't know you know you don't want that mm -hmm. like that's that doesn't help anybody but like <laughs> we were drinking and we came up with this idea because we were just watching Bachelor Winter Games, which is a fantastic television. Just brilliant. And we were like, why don't we have like a Bachelor and Bachelorette for YouTubers? So like we came up with a couple of YouTube Red Show ideas that I just think would be. Or just YouTube. None of these exist. And they're not going to exist. But like, let's throw out some ideas and let us know in the dear, comments dear, your ideas. Dear YouTube, we know you're watching. <laughs> Please <laughs> listen to our ideas and pay us money for them and make them happen, Ain't please. Ain't nobody here, baby. Thank you, Ain't YouTube. Nobody. Thank you to all the YouTube executives who are sitting in the back <laughs> watching us right now. I know you're here. I see you. Thank you for showing up. Julie, we do not validate parking. The YouTube Red office is just piling in. They're piling I know, in. Guys, I know there's not a lot of seats. Some of you are standing. <laughs> We get it. Just listen to our pitch and you're going to have content for 2018 and on. Okay. So last In advance, night, you're welcome. We came up because we were sitting there with Brett and we're like giggling about it. We're laughing really hard. Like the idea of a bachelor or a bachelorette for YouTubers. So not everyone is a YouTuber. You just pick. The bachelor or like, the bachelorette. The bachelor or the bachelorette. Are is, they're the YouTuber. Yeah. So the names that I tossed out were like Tyler Oakley could be the Bachelor on his season. Andrea Russett, I feel like, would be a wonderful fucking Andrea Bachelorette. Andrea Russett would be entertaining as Amazing. fuck. Amazing. Yeah, because she keeps it real. Trisha Paytas, but we could never afford her. We could never her. afford her. We could never afford her. <laughs> by she's the way, already been by the way, Celebrity Big Brother. She teased today that she's going to do a week-long live stream. And if oh that happens, I'm doing nothing but watching that for a week. <laughs> nothing! In fact, I might even just live stream myself watching it. Yes! Um, Julian so, reacts to Trisha's live stream for live, a week. Live. <laughs> and I'm just like pirating her live yeah, stream. Yeah, I think you can do that. Um, okay, so those are three. But it's important to understand the way it would work is the main bachelor or bachelorette would be a YouTuber. Mm hmm We would go through the like traditional casting method of getting right. the rest of the contestants to be like entertaining and great. Yeah, but for like the they show. could be from anywhere in the country. They don't have probably, to even legally. They probably have to be United States citizens or Canadians. Well, they're maybe. doing winter winter bachelor games. They're all international, so right, who knows? This is like that's far far. No, in the but future. see, I I see all of you, and I know you. You're just still filtering in. I know you guys have the budget <laughs> to make things like that happen. So we're only shooting for the stars here because we know what you're capable of, and we know the resources you want to swing for the fences. Uh, it's important that we have some of the contestants not know what YouTube is or YouTuber is. Yeah, for sure. So we have this spectrum, right, of incredibly thirsty fan boy, fan girl, and then we have what's YouTube. Right. And they're all in the same house. Yeah. And the bachelor has to create content while they're in the house. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? They have to vlog. Why? Because half of the show is from the camera crew and half of it is from the vlog. That's how Why? you, it's mixed in. Okay. Well, so my original sort of like, wow. So my original sort of like, I mean, I, I watch The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, but like sometimes I skip seasons. Like I'm not a diehard fan, but like some of the seasons when you watch them, because it's like this crafted reality show, which I feel like a lot of, you know, millennials and younger people deviate from. Like we don't, we don't like when it feels fake and forced and whatever. Yeah. And part of the criticism of like The Bachelor is like, for any normal person, if you lined up, you know, 30 people for them to potentially date, and just by, like, shaking hands and saying hello, physical attraction or, you know, mm -hmm. just getting to know a little bit about them, you could probably narrow that down to, like, relatively, you know, 10 
or something where yeah. you're like, I'd be interested in getting to know that person a little bit more. Yeah. And then even after the end of like the night or two days, you could narrow it down to like three people that you're, but no, the entire season is like, you just keep all these people that, you know, this person's clearly not really that interested in getting yeah. to know yeah. for so long. It's like if you went to like middle school again it's or drawn high school, out. Yeah. it's drawn the fuck out. Julian, it's... if you're in high school and you, even if you don't have classes with everyone, you don't know everyone, there's like, a, a couple of girls that you'd be into, like maybe asking to a dance or something. You know what I mean? It's not like you're interested in your in entire everyone. class of and girls. And you need four years to figure out down <laughs> yeah. to one. Yeah, and you need to get to know all of but them. But that's 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 the, the, why The Bachelor in right. practice is so stupid. Right. So that's why I was like, you know what I would really like? Because I do like, and I do think there are a lot of people that are honestly like looking, genuinely looking for someone to date. I think the premise is completely ridiculous that everyone that goes on those shows is even interested interested in the bachelor or the bachelorette whoever it is like if you cast me on that show and they're like it's ari and you're like i don't really like him you know he's i don't, I don't he's not for me but you can't do that as a contestant. You have to be like pretending like you're completely in love with the person, which just is statistically not really that believable. But also one thing that i i when i first watched the bachelor, i was very confused by everyone's interest in The Bachelor. That's what I, I'm saying. I never understood. But, like, it's it seems apparent to everyone who's a fan of the show. It's like, of course they want Ned or they want whatever, Ari. But when I watched it for the first time, I was like, well, why are they why are they all so in love with this guy <laughs> I, or girl? I don't. I just didn't understand it. Right. And that alone, that question that when you first watch the show, at least for me, it's like, okay, what are the ulterior motives? Here's a whole list of them. Right. Right? So there's no way this group of – Beautiful women are just like die hard for a random human being who is thrown in front of them and with cameras. Like that's not right. So like the the idea spawned from like I would like to watch a realistic bachelor or bachelorette where anyone's allowed to say I'm not interested, I'm gonna leave, and the the person is allowed to narrow down and eliminate as many people as they want. By the way, everyone, <laughs> uh, the YouTube team, we are pitching uh, basically just the bachelor today. We have a couple other ideas, but we're doing best idea first. <laughs> So don't stay till the end. <laughs> so say, for example, we have a $7 million budget and we can afford Trisha Paytas. Seven? Okay. Yeah, they said that's good. <laughs> okay. So, so, like, we could say to her, you know, what's your type or whatever you want? And she could probably look at a group of 30 guys and be like, I'm probably not that interested in, in this group and I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to eliminate you. I would rather yeah. watch, like, four or five episodes of Trisha getting to know like 10 people on a better level than pretending to like 25 people. So in a way we're creating bachelor 2.0, yeah. what we think would make the bachelor so much better yeah. and realistic, but and it's going to live on YouTube. any of those guys, if they, if they, if they look at the contestant and they're just like, you know, not for me or like, I got to know her, I'm really not that interested. Like feel free to leave, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter because the, the premise is that they try to sell you this like romantic love story and have it build out. But like, I think people are cool with watching other people fall in love. Like we want to, we want to believe. Yeah, we wanna, of course you do. And it's interesting to watch people date and see the decision making process about wh what they decide they like about each other or not. If you made it a little more realistic, I think it would still be entertaining, especially if you l allowed people to be completely honest. Well, I think making it more realistic would appeal not only to people who might feel exactly how you do about the show, but also like a younger, more in touch internet crowd. Right. Like I want to see what dating is really like. I yeah. don't want to watch them go on fancy dates and get to know people they don't really care about. Yeah. And I don't want to see people in a house for however many months not have access to the internet. I want to see them joke about memes. Like that's what I do. Right. right? Like every cutaway that they show of the people waiting around the house, it's only when they're like pretty done up in makeup and they're having a serious conversation about how they all feel about The Bachelor. It's like, no, show me when they get drunk and run out of toilet paper and four of them decide that they're going to create an alliance against some other person. For wow, no one of them reason. is Instagram living yes. herself like poisoning yes. someone's food. Like, show me the people that are there to get free booze and food for a week and are partying and like, I, like I'm here for it. Yeah. I don't care. I want to see the weird shit. Yeah. I want to see someone fall and, down in the bathroom. And every week during the episode... <laughs> So th this is all, is it live? Is it like in the moment or is it recorded like 
Because that's that's a dictating recorded. question. It's recorded. Because the other, like Shane Dawson has always tossed around the idea of celebrity big brother for YouTubers. And that's where you have all of these that's YouTubers live. live in a house where you could watch the live, live streams. streams. And, so, and that's a that strategic would, That game. would be interesting. But yeah, it's different, a different, it's different. A different beast. Um, I think one, another aspect could be cool is if like they could compete not only for like dates with The Bachelor, but also like they could compete to like have – like have the option to take over the bachelor twitter account for a week or something you know what i mean <laughs> something superficial with numbers attached to mm -hmm. it so that you weed out the people who are like i don't really care for this guy but i'm trying to get like my followers up like let me get this let me win this challenge and get this rose so i could take over the twitter account for a week or something like uh, the more but then i think that would create spoilers because it's recorded yep well that's true, but you could also not find out who won until the season's over or something. You would just find out later. I don't know. Whatever. I just think that it would be really cool because there's a lot of, like, young, good-looking, successful people on YouTube that yeah. are smart and nice. And I'm sure would love a situation like that. Maybe, you know, far less laced up is, like, the traditional bachelor or bachelorette that would never consider an online personality. Yeah. Or they're too young or whatever. And I was like, you know what would be great, though? Like... Even not just this, like, I'm seriously looking for love. Like, let's get those fucking Musical.ly kids up in here. We got, like, 16-year-olds, and you're like, here's a 16-year-old version of, of The Bachelor Bachelorette. And it's all just, like, it's super, like, young teenagers. Yeah. Like, that'd be fun. Obviously, there's no alcohol and, like, illegal things going on. But, like, I would love to watch some young teenagers have cute conversations and hold hands. Like, that is adorable. I well, want to watch like, that. You That's have cute. shows like Summer Break. That's kind of like that, right? You ever watch Summer Break? I guess maybe break? for legal reasons, maybe they would need to be 18. No, you know what Summer Break is? It's a show Summer about break? Summer Break was like it was like I think uh, I don't know if it's still happening. I think AT and T was like the main sponsor. It was a YouTube series where it was like reality TV for high schoolers, basically. And it was that when they were on the summer break, and that's that was the premise. What? And you know, uh, my brother's friend was on it, and that's like how he got his like internet whatever his numbers is you know a start. But like they do, they've done that before, where they've oh. documented a reality show format on YouTube of younger that's people, cute. or not creators, they're just people. That's cute, but I wouldn't want to even curate it. I'd be like, yo, just keep it real. If you guys aren't interested in each other, just fucking, you can leave. Or yeah, it's super reality want. TV. Yeah. For sure. And then yeah. even if the season turns into five episodes of Jared and Allison talking to each other on a couch, I'm like, I'm kind of here for it. Yeah. That's fucking cute. Yeah. What are you guys fighting about? <laughs> or we have a Vine season where every every episode is only six seconds. <laughs> And they have to cram. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, just kidding. No. Um, but I feel like there's so many like single people on YouTube where we're like, you know what? We could, even if you don't find anybody that you actually like, yeah. like let's set this up and have it be a fucking thing. It'd could be, be cool. fun. It could be cool. It'd be I, really fun. Yeah, uh, that's our best idea. The YouTube bachelor is our best idea, right? It's a. Uh, I would watch the I think we're, I think fuck like out it. of that. The executives seeing a lot that are of nodding watching. heads. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, oh, the the joke last night was that we were both going to co-host it. Oh, we yeah. were going to be Chris and Harrison. <laughs> um, we, we have to speak in every other word. Ladies. Welcome. Tonight. Rose. Ceremony. Is. Happening. The one. That. Retweet. Okay, you're not. You're to not, survive. You're not playing along. It's the Hunger Games. Everyone run. <laughs> 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 we're cops. <laughs> I feel uh, like it would be such good, like, reality television on YouTube that we don't have. Well, because I I think, like, on cable <clears throat> um, or, like, TV, like, live TV, the last kind of bit of show that I still watch – I mean, I watch SVU, sure. Like, I'll watch, you know, shit like that. Survivor, for sure. Mm -hmm. But the last – dying kind of group that's really really getting whittled down to a small group of, of content I watch on TV is really just like shitty reality TV. Mm -hmm. And that totally can exist online. Yeah. Better. Like better content than is on TV can exist online. And I think it's only a matter of time before it does. But I think it's cool to grab like the spinoff angle and, and like make it more internet friendly because I think it would improve so many shows. Like... <laughs> Should we move on to our next ideas? Sure. Yeah. Give me a hype up. I need. Okay. Yeah. YouTube dog best in show. <laughs> we take all the YouTube pets and we compare how they look. And the winner is the best in show. Come in. 
<laughs> so you have all the, the famous puppers, the doggos. Wait, so are they being judged? Like, obviously, a lot of people have, <laughs> like, a dog that doesn't necessarily fit into a breed category. So it's just a good-looking no, contest? No, it's, it's pet. Okay. So Ad can be in it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And who's But there is it? one sprint. The one of the event is one a sprint. Is a so, so Ad might... He might lose. Well, who's, he might also die. Who's <laughs> who's judging the competition? Um, like traditional dog show people? No. So judging the com- competition is um, Caesar Milan. Oh shit! Controversial, but okay. Wait, he's controversial. I mean, sometimes. Oh, I didn't know that. Not too bad. Okay, Caesar Milan's cousin, who's more versed on the internet. Okay. His baby cousin. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Salad Milan. <laughs> Okay, go okay, on. and then we have <laughs> what? What did I say? <laughs> okay, and then, um, then on the on the host on the other on the, on the <laughs> salad Milan. He's the only host. It's just him. Caesar Milan's baby cousin Salad. <laughs> okay, but Salad Milan is rigging the competition oh, to shit. put his dog Crouton in the show and win. <laughs> But it's not fair. No, it's not. He's not a YouTuber. He can't. He cannot enter. He keeps crouton. throwing crouton in the arena, and we don't even know how he got there. Get crouton up out of here. Get it. Get him out. So it's just like a, a yearly, an annual dog show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not not Salad Milan. Mm-hmm. I think the best judge slash caster mm-hmm. for that would be Pansy. Okay. She's commentating the play by play of the dog of the dog pets. So she's giving us... So cats? Like, how are you going to logistically do it if it's pets, Julian? They have ideas. Oh, okay. Yeah. The they... executives that are watching? Yeah. One of them just WhatsApped me. <laughs> We're in the United States. You can text me. Uh, um, no, we should we should do, like, a, a straight up, like, just shallow as fuck, who is the prettiest. <laughs> and that eliminates all the ugly ones. But and that's then... what I'm saying. Who's judging it? Because that's very important. Pansy. I don't know. You propose but a judge. She's... I did. So if you if you took like traditional Westminster dog show people and you're like, all right, forget what you know about like breed and stuff like that. Like don't judge them based on their breed. Judge them based on how sexy they are. <laughs> okay? And you got to declare a first, second and third. Okay. Every year. Okay, that works. And um who's who's the one like on the floor running the show? <gasps> Pansy. There we go. So she's like She's commentating live yeah. on the floor. And all every YouTuber with their pet or their dog has to be the one handling them, like walking them so around. So we have the to run out around like, on a leash when yeah. he's doing the rings. Okay. And... Just let go of the pet thing. It's just a dog show. So just a dog show. Yeah, just a dog show. Yeah, they're good with that. Okay. Just a dog show. Okay. So that's number two is complete. Number three. And guys, remember that if you want to be involved in the biggest story of 2018, which is going to be our YouTube Red series, our multiple successful series that have been sold and pitched to YouTube Red. You'll probably just read about it in the skim. Oh, my because God. Because you're going Julian. to wake up, you're going to get the Julian. skim, and you're going to say, hey, whoa, two YouTubers named Jenna and Julian launch a 10 YouTube Red shows simultaneously <laughs> and produce and direct all of them, and they're getting $6 million. <laughs> Oh, six hundred dollars. Okay, um, guys, if you want news waiting for you in the morning and you don't want to search for it, um, kind of trudging through all the nonsense online, you want it just compacted in a nice, easy to read format. The skim is for you, and guys, it's free. You literally just sign up for the newsletter, and it comes to your email. That's it. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but give it a try. It's really great. Okay, you can learn about the curler in the Olympics who's been accused of doping. Curler. Oh my God. You can learn about all sorts of what things. What does that person have to dope for? I don't it, like, know. It's your blood. Because I didn't it, read I the skin. I get it. Why? Why are you doping? What are you doing? You know what? I don't really know enough about curling and the training involved to even like speak on it. It sounds really silly and I get why everyone's laughing, but who knows? Okay. Maybe their training is like... Because I, I have seen uh, an improvement in the physique of curlers over the years. Mm-hmm. They're a lot more physical looking. Than they used to be. No anyway. one's denying that they're, they're athletes, but it just seems like a bizarre sport to to require that type of performance enhancement. I agree. I agree. Guys, go to the skim. That's T H E S K I M M with two M's dot com slash Jenna Julian. Sign yourself up for the email, and you will get the skim newsletter 
in your inbox in the morning. You can just skip on over the water cooler, just Karen right in the right in the head with some facts. Not wow. your fist, just like you're gonna learn her really, really wow. hard in, in the face. And uh that's it. Okay. And right now when you sign up, you could be entered to win a two hundred and fifty dollar visa gift card that you can spend on all sorts of like pad thai if you're if you're down for that because it's if I won that gift card, I would just spend it on pad thai. Mm, I know you would. Also, guys, if you love magazines but you don't know how to like buy magazines, like physical magazines, go to a magazine stand. What is it like? 2000 like come on <laughs> get it on texture texture is an app that helps you read all the all the great magazines you want bon appetit where you can just like look at pictures of food sports illustrated men's fitness ladies and men you can get it right now on texture.com slash jenna julian you can start with a free trial it's an awesome app and you can do it on your tablet your phone your computer you get all the magazines you want right at your fingertips and there's no wasted paper there's no stacks piling up where you what a stupid thought. Let's make magazines. So once you read them, it's just a thick pile of papers that you have to just trash. Go off, sis. Whew. I done snapped. <laughs> right now, try Texture for free by going to texture.com slash Jenna Julian. If you choose to continue after your free trial, you're going to start with $9.99 a month, which is over a 30% discount, like I said. Really great deal. Check it out. Texture.com slash Jenna Julian or link in the description. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. Yeah, you can – no, no, you can email us if you want to get on the sponsor. We have a long list. <laughs> okay. The next we have Big Brother, but we kind of already talked about it. That's Shane's yeah, idea. Yeah, that's Shane's idea. Um, that's all Shane. I really hope that he makes that happen too, but I would never agree to do that. When did your feet get on top of me? Um, I don't know, but I like it. It feels good. Can you turn a little more towards me so I can put my feet on you more? Thank you. That's great. Oh. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to delete this. Oh, okay. Uh, the challenge is our next. Wait, we didn't talk about Big Brother for well, you, YouTubers. You said that was Shane's. Okay, go, go off, sis. But so you that would be all YouTubers, and they would have to live in a house. It's basically Big Brother. Right. Except instead of live streamed on TV, it's live streamed on YouTube. Wait, I have a question. What? What about Big Sister? Brother. Big Sister. Brother. Big Sisters. Brother. Did you see James Charles did a video? Mm-hmm. Did you watch it? I watched the beginning of it. It's, I haven't had a chance to watch the whole thing. I watched the beginning of it. I watched like five minutes of it today. It was mm. really funny. Yeah. Brother. Sister. Brother. Sister. Give me this. I made that. Sister. Anyways, Julian. I'm listening. They So in order, to, I think, to get YouTubers to agree to that, mm -hmm. you'd have to make it so they're totally allowed to have their phones, social media. They can film. Well, because in Big Brother right now, they can't have any of that? There's I no access to so. like the internet. No, they're just live. And where are they live? On TV? How stupid. No, on the internet. Oh, that's you pretty cool. You can watch cool. the live streams on the internet. Oh. But so I think you you can allow them, you know, different liberties than they do on the show. So they can they can work. They can they tweet. Can, they can be on they yeah. can create content. They can vlog. They like, can edit. Like But like they can also create their own drama by doing that though too. Yeah, but like imagine just if you like Trisha was on UK Big Brother. But if imagine if she was on like YouTube Big Brother. Mm hmm What or we can, the name is up for and negotiation. She's, well she's allowed uh, like imagine the problems that would arise where K Trisha's like, hey, guys, I'm going to film in the kitchen or I'm going to go live in the kitchen. They're like, Trisha, don't go live in the kitchen. I'm in my underwear cooking yes. potatoes. And yes. she's like, well, fuck you. I told yes. you I was going to go live. And then the, now we have problems. We and have now problems. this is lit. And let's think argue. about the shit that would go down. If you knew, like, say right now, we mm -hmm. knew that there was a group of YouTubers in the house mm -hmm. currently. Hey, do not break my sign. Brother. Amazing. I would tune in listen, no, right listen, now. No, I had a scenario I was going to I would out. tune in for the tea had, and the I have, receipts. I have a scenario. So we knew it's... I want stop that. It. Give it it's me. brother. It. We knew the YouTubers were in the house. We knew it was live streamed. We knew everything was like like in the now right now. And all of a sudden, someone starts tweeting yeah, go really off. cryptic shit. Go off. Sis. And we're like, wait a minute. Why are they tweeting this? Aren't they in the house? Yep. And then all of a sudden, you're like, wait a minute. Are they like... Are they serious? Yep. And then just the drama is... It's everywhere. Yes. It could be so plentiful. Yes. There could be fights. Yes. Um, there could be uh, like all sorts of – there could be lawsuits, which could be fun. Ready for it. Um, different – you know, no one's going to get any permission 
to film anyone because by the time you're in the show, you've already signed away. You're basically your waiver to be on camera mm-hmm. on everyone's vlog. So no matter what you get filmed doing, you have already given the permission I'm to be. I'm trying to think of like who would agree to that though. Like the, oh, the, there would be. the prize money needs to be a lot in order to, to convince Or the prize is like 100,000 subscribers. Oh my God. Just given to you. Um, But like, you know, for a lot or, of... For a lot of people on YouTube, it's like, okay, well, if I wanted to be live on camera 24 7, I'll just do it on my channel. That's I don't, true. I don't really want there that. There has you, to be a, a big you prize. Need to, you need to give me incentive to agree to that. 100% there needs to be incentive. Well, and also say you have somebody on there who's like, whose job is X, Y, and Z, you know what yeah. I mean? And you've never been exposed to them for any extended amount of time. Like, let's let's say this is a terrible example because we all know Liza Koshy is fucking amazing and wonderful. But say, like, you only saw Liza Koshy's videos and so you, you know her as that. Then she goes on Big Brother for YouTubers and you realize what she's like in person and you're like, whoa, this is terrible. Not a fan anymore. Like the Katy Perry live stream. Oh, such a trash. It's trash like <laughs> when you all of a sudden are exposed to someone's like real personality. Yeah, that's a just... huge risk that they're taking by being on the show. Of so course. I'm saying like in order to get someone to agree. It needs to, that. to be worth it. It needs to be like hundred percent. So let's think of how it could be worth risk. it. A YouTube billboard with your face on it for a month. I, pro- that could be I part also of the... I promise to you, Liza Koshy is even more wonderful she's, than she it, appears she on the internet. The sweetest it's a terrible being. example, but you know what I'm saying. It was I agree with you that that was a bad example. <laughs> she is very kind and sweet and is nice in person. Yeah. Um you would watch her on a live stream and only like her more. <laughs> Unlike the Katy Perry live stream where you're like, I hate you. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a I second. Was, I was down with you. Wait a second. Music. I didn't feel any certain type of way. And then you went live for a week and now I really don't like you. <laughs> oh, shit. No. So um, anyway, sorry. Darby if that pissed you off. Table, dude. Listen, though, I, I was going to say something. Hold on. Sorry. Go ahead. The winner of, by the way, how do you win Big Brother? You just don't get voted off? Just yeah, like Survivor? pretty much. I think okay. so. I don't watch a lot of Big okay, Brother. Okay. So the winner could have. A cash prize. I want to be like Julie a, Chen. I want to be cash prize. Hold on, cash yeah. prize. Say yeah. like quarter million dollars. Yeah, more than that. They get a, their face on a YouTube it's our billboard. Whole budget. They get a face our on a budget. YouTube billboard. A whole budget. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to create budget, a prize pool here. Our whole budget is the cost of the house, and you guys can make the billboard. They're saying yes to the billboard. Maybe idea. maybe a fee for people to agree to to show up. You know what yeah, I mean? So they can miss out on work and, right. and have it be okay. So so far we have you get a prize. Uh, cash prize if you win you get to you also get like resources to create content right like they have editing setups they have cameras you can use whatever like they have a green screen you know what i mean they have yeah they have help but, like the the prize money needs to be the amount of money where people will do anything like they'll they'll do fucked up shit well we could get that number up i think i, th- I think we could get Are that the number executives up. listening I, one of them winked at me but what did that mean no, no no we'll talk about that after what do you think about this idea okay they're being weird. <laughs> I think one of them just likes me. Um, let's just say 750K. Oh, my God. 750K. The people would be chomping at the bit to get a spot in this house for three quarters of a million dollars. You get 750K. Yeah, like the winner also gets money. their face on a YouTube billboard for like three months. Oh, my like God. Like their YouTube featured creator across the globe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Third, they get... Google preferred ads. They get Google preferred <laughs> <laughs> they get a hundred thousand bot followers oh, given yes. to them on behalf of YouTube. They're all fake, but they're <laughs> they're theirs now. <laughs> so you get new fake followers, you get cash, and you get notoriety. Notoriety is the one where you get put on a billboard. It's more famous. You get to do um maybe some of the lesser rated late night talk shows to talk about your win. Oh my god. Yes. Like a like a mini media tour. Like whoever will let you on. Yeah. <laughs> Basically the tour involves you going across the United States and just knocking on networks. Going doors on YouTubers podcast. Hey, can I be on the show? You go on a you go on a YouTuber podcast tour. Podcast tour. We get to have the winner of YouTube Big Brother. It starts they start at Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> They go over to the Shane and Friends oh, podcast. Come on, Good Mythical Morning's like a great show. That's an opportunity. But it's still a YouTuber podcast. And then over, I love Good Mythical Morning. This <laughs> yeah, this like, is better than a late yeah, night. But, like, this is, but the irony you got is that Good Mythical the Morning, irony, you're like, this is sick. If you come in here and you smush yourself in this room, it I, doesn't really feel all right, that. Enough of the self loathing. I <laughs> ironically, I think a YouTuber podcast tour would be cooler than a late night tour. I can't stand. Sorry, I can't stand Jimmy Fallon. I, a lot Ooh. of the late night stuff. I like Kimmel. He's good. <gasps> Throw that There's some tea. good stuff. But Throw for the most part, tea. I think late night TV is kind of just Sis, like antiquated. Snapped. And I think that 
can you just let me talk for a sec? And I think that there are podcasts or internet like sort of equivalents to that that are way cooler. So that's the ir- ironic part of this. But I do think that's a funny idea. The winner gets to go on a, a YouTuber podcast tour across California, not any other state. They only get to go in California. So they start with the best. Good mythical morning. Then they go to Shane Branch yeah. and then they come to our dumpster room and record a, a show with us. No, then they go to Not Too Deep and not too deep. Psycho Babble. Psycho Babble. The Jenna Julian podcast. And then they come back to the Jenna Julian podcast for another episode. Except, um, yeah. Well, that's I like that. I think the Big Brother idea kind of that would be great evolved there. But I feel like also the there is no barrier to entry like i think we can pick anyone that identifies as a youtuber and has so there's like, no minimum sub count or no whatever. minimum sub count like so can i there's, turn my, oh, yeah, my sorry. Really so there's there's people that have a lot to gain from just that exposure which is why when you were like how are we going to get people to do this if you offer 200k yeah a lot of smaller YouTubers would love this opportunity. Like, no, for that, sure. But like, to if, if you took the majority of the budget for the whole show and you made it the prize money, now we've created a situation where people will do anything. Yeah. Anything. And they're already signing their life away. So you could feasibly just like kill someone and it's not even your fault. Oh just saying. I'm just, just saying. Sorry. You guys, I, I know legal is crazy. That's why I'm saying it. They appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be wildly entertaining. The whole thing is... The whole thing is sponsored by the Jedit Julian podcast. No, no, texture. no, no, no. Texture, can you guys sponsor that show? Um, can you sponsor Big Brother? <laughs> no, we we could we could get some. We some could great we could sponsor. gather some good sponsors. Yeah. Oh, please don't bend my knee backwards. Well. All right. Well, where are our other shows? Well, we had the challenge. Yeah. So sort of the same as like uh, Big Brother. I'm like the... really uncomfortable. All right. But I was so comfortable. But I'm like sitting here like being a footrest. So if you guys ever watch like the, the challenge on MTV where they basically take, you know, the real world contestants, are you the one, con- like people from other reality shows, then they put them all in this hyper competitive like physical environment where there's different games. So like Vendettas or Battle of the Exes or, you know, they all have different premises of how people get eliminated and how they determine the winner. But yeah. they're all, for the most part, a very physical show based on a lot of the politics is... and physicalness. It's like it's a mix of like the real world and Survivor. Yeah. So I would love to watch a bunch of YouTubers uh, do have, physical to, shit have together. to do physical yeah. shit together. Because I feel like there's a lot of people in the community that are like unbelievable athletes. And then you put them together with people that are just like. Like mastermind manipulators. Yeah. And, and also athletes. just like regular people. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And Here al- for it. Also, I'd like to just say that if you are a challenge fan, I am so into their most recent season of yeah, really where they good. brought the UK crowd over. Jordy I think it's, it's, it's li- like bringing Brilliant. the Jordy Shore crowd into the challenge has been the best move the challenge has made in so many years. I'm like True. so here for it. But um, so who would be fun. the host? Who's the TJ Lavin? Ooh, I want to host it. No, no, no. You're already hosting. Uh... You host it. Okay. You, you host uh, the challenge and I'll host the bachelor, bachelorette and big brother. So I have to host the challenge. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to, I want to do it. I want to be on it. You want to be on it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's think of a host. Hmm. Jay Cyrus would be Caesar a great Mal- host. Oh, yeah, Jay, C- <laughs> Jay Cyrus. Jay Cyrus. Because someone would wipe out and he wouldn't be able to stop laughing. <laughs> Jeff would be a great host. Yeah, he would. He, he, he should be like the number one host for all of these ideas, I think. Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. Him hosting a show about love would be fantastic. They can... Absolutely fantastic. They can... Um, stop it, Siri. They, shut up. They can, uh, <laughs> they can like, be on the internet in the house, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, the theme with all these shows. Yeah. It's like, they have access to the internet. We don't do the, the, we'll cut you off from the world because we don't want any spoilers. Because like, we need more content. By, by all means, like, go on Twitter and go off and say whatever's on your mind. And then, honestly, when it airs, I'm going to be dying to see what the fuck you were tweeting about, mm. so... Good for you. Say whatever the fuck you want. All right. You pick out of those any others you want to bring Didn't up. we have one more? Well, like a fighting We had a league. few more. The Ultimate Fighter. Oh, yeah. So because everyone's now fighting each other in boxing rings on the YouTube, YouTubes, 
um, we just create an ultimate fighter. So we put them all in a house. They all have to live with each other and talk shit about each other, and then they fight each other. It'd be Pre- great. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. I would love it. Pretty straightforward. Except it's MMA, not boxing. Yeah, and, you can and it's co-ed. House. It's co-ed. So I and Jack Films can fight each other. Oh, sp- speaking of Jack Films, did you have a message about his dogs when it comes to the Best in Show series? Yeah, they're not even invited because they're such garbage. Plus, they're going to lose. Um, okay. The- I like this one a lot. The Face Off for the beauty community. So Face Off is a show on Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah. And it's a reality show with special effects make makeup artists. Right. Doing challenges, different special effects makeup challenges, and they're incredible. So yeah. entertaining. But, like, you wouldn't even need that for YouTube. Like, no, that's just the format. You just take all these beautiful, beautiful people, and you're just like, okay, you guys have five minutes to create a look using these products. And it's called Beautuber. It's called Beautube Off. Wow, that's so clunky. I feel like I feel sweaty after you just said that word at me. <laughs> the ultimate YouTuber, the YouTuber. Are you the YouTuber? That's so clunky. Be a YouTuber. Something with YouTuber in it. We'll get the answer. You guys have some ideas. All right, they're gonna they're gonna fax me some ideas tomorrow. Beauty and the teas. Beauty and the tea. Yeah, because I'm here for the petty drama. Okay, so. Um, you're allowed to sabotage people, too. I feel like that's fun. So well, how would how would it work? Okay, because they all have the same challenges. But aside mm-hmm. from, like, actually doing makeup mm-hmm. and winning challenges mm-hmm. and having, like, the weakest player that week mm-hmm. voted off, it's what's the social based. aspect? No, it's talent-based. I mean, they, we can have them all live in the same place. I think that's fun. They can all use their phones. They can all do whatever. Like, I'm here for some of the arguments, some of the petty shit, fine. But, like, it is talent-based. Yeah, it's talent-based, but so is so is f- fucking Ultimate Fighter. And I love watching the, my favorite parts of Ultimate Fighter in the house. Like I mean, That's I, what I just said. Yeah, but you said it's talent-based. I think it should be T-based. And then the talent is just, like, a side thing. No. No, well, they, think they eliminate like people based on their work. Yes, and yeah, the but entertaining no, part is them at the house. But, but in, the, in Face Off, one of the things I hate is that you don't even get to see them in the house. They like. So I just said that. You see all of that stuff. But it's like RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, I'm here for all you guys arguing. I never watched that show. But, like, at the end of the day, they're, base, they're basing the who goes home based on All I was talking about was the, was the division of content. That's it. Like, okay. how much content are we watching of them compete and how much are we watching of them in the house? It's like a... a Healthy balance. It's a beauty competition. Give me a percentage. I don't have a percentage. We have the executives in the room. They need a percentage. 50-50. Good. Okay. Wow, that was exhausting. You're tilted right now. I'm tilted. Well, how did you just get so tilted? I don't know. But I feel like those would be great shows. And if we had those, it would be fucking sick. Right, Plus, well, we... like, you, like if you're a young 20-something on YouTube and someone was like, look, okay, we're going to provide you with a, not designer, but, like, a really nice wardrobe and hair and makeup for, like, three weeks. And we're just going to line up all these people for you for you to date and get to know. I'd be like, hell yeah. And we're like, yeah, we, we got a small fee. We can pay you. And you get to live in a mansion and you can do whatever you want. Are you cool with that? I'd be like, hell yeah. And I also think something that this this whole group of ideas have going for it is that you can create content while you're doing it. It's like, I'm sure so many YouTubers would want to go on survivor or want to go on the challenge, but you know that you're going to take months off of your YouTube channel, which could be the death of your channel. Like if you, this, this is a prime opportunity to create some content that you could never create elsewhere. While also we don't own own the content you're posting to your YouTube channel while you're doing this. That's enticing. I think yeah. that's more enticing than any of the prizes involved. Yeah. It's like but you're like, getting the coolest fucking content. If you're like an Andrea Russett though or a Trisha Paytas and, and you're like, okay, we'll we'll take care of the wardrobe. Like pack nothing. We'll we'll give you like beautiful shoes, beautiful hair, Clown beautiful shoes makeup, only. whatever you want. Like just let us know. We'll make it all happen for you. And you just wake up every day and look for love. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like <laughs> whatever you want. And you know what? If your date. At the end of the day, is you want to go lay on this couch and eat ice cream with this guy? Like, we're going to take you there and we're going to record it. Has The Bachelor ever, has someone on The Bachelor ever, like, one of the contestants amongst the other women or the amongst the other men, like, brought someone else onto the show, like, secretly snuck another date, <laughs> like, so. into the house? That's, fucked up. <laughs> That's, fucked up. That's funny. That's fucked up. Okay. I would love that show, though. Yeah, I would love all these shows. So, um, guys, as you filter out just um, 
Make sure you high five all the YouTube execs. Give a nice little pat and uh, let them know to fax us their thoughts <laughs> tomorrow. And we'll see where it goes. We mm -hmm. have a lot of offers on the table. Yeah, a lot. Hulu's breathing down our neck pretty loud. Yeah. And honestly, TBH, I'm ready to give up the rest of my job and life and whatever and just focus on this. Also, all my time is now devoted to all of this. This is what I do now. Copyright. This yeah, is all copywritten. No, I declared it. Okay. There's a C on top. No one's allowed to take that. You can't our take ideas. anything we just said. I just said it. If it's... you did, we will sue you for the cost of uh, um, being frustrated. But Our lawsuit least, against you for stealing $100. any of these ideas will be free or ten dollars. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> I steal promise. Them. I will kill you. <laughs> don't don't threat. Oh. She didn't mean it, brother. <laughs> Do not threaten. It. I didn't mean it. I mean I'm sorry, YouTube executives. <laughs> she's very she's hostile sometimes. <laughs> Just ignore. There's dogs in the back. Go look at them. There's a hamster. If we kill you, you won't know about it beforehand. <laughs> Just know that. Copyright. Or after. Or after. Copyright. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we did it. Goodbye forever. Uh, goodbye. Okay. See you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Let's call it YouTube Blue. <laughs> Why? Because it's not YouTube Red. It's better. Oh, got it. Perfect. YouTube Fire and Ice. Yes. Hell yeah. I'm here for ice. Wait. Did it end? Uh, copyright. Bye. <laughs> bye.